Don't miss a beat, join the notification squad by clicking that bell, you'll get notified every time I upload a video, and be sure to join our Discord to talk and get help with your code. Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Ned. Today we are back with episode 7 of Discord.js coding tutorial series. So today we're going to be doing the add roll and remove roll commands. These are pretty simple commands, but it's been highly requested, so I figured why not. Um, it kind of gives you a better grip on adding and removing rules and just kind of managing them. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get right into it. I've made a new rule based off Andrew's first message since he's my test dummy. It is dog person. So basically we're going to be getting this rule. We're going to be finding it. Um, second time I recorded this, sorry. Um, and then we're going to be adding it and then trying to DM him. And if his DMs are locked, which I had him lock them. Um, we're going to go ahead and publicly broadcast it instead of just sending it to him. So let's go ahead and dive right into it. We're going to make two new commands. And by the way, if you haven't been following along, and you're just tuning in now. Um, you should definitely watch the command handler series or not series, but the episode, um, because it's going to teach you how to have your commands like I do. So new command, add rule dot JS and new command remove rule or yeah, remove rule.js. So just like every other file, let's go ahead and set up a discord. Or yeah, so require discord.js, sorry. Brain fart there. And then we're going to do module.exports.run equals async parentheses bot message, whoops, message args. And then, of course, with an arrow function. And then we're going to do module.exports.help equals curly brackets name. And then the, the um, command name. So add role. And since we're doing two commands today, I'm just going to go ahead and copy and paste that since it's basically a template. And change the name to remove role. So. Now that that's done, let's go ahead and start working on the ad roll. Um, these are going to be very similar. It's just going to be a couple changes. So I'm going to copy and paste everything in ad roll once I'm done and just paste it into remove roll. So first we need to check and make sure that the author of the message has permission. So message.member, or sorry, if not message.member that has permission, uh, we'll say manage members. Yeah, that's our permission. Return message, then we'll just reply. Message not reply. Sorry, pal. You can't do that. Alright. So now we need to get the Okay, so the commands I'm sorry, I forgot to talk about this. I'm gonna do this at every episode. So we're gonna do the command by add roll. And then we're gonna add Andrew. And then role here so it's going to be dog person so normally we'd be able to just do args one and it'll grab dog but it won't grab person so we're going to go ahead and split it up like we do in, as a reason so let's go ahead and start doing that let uh we'll just say role member our member for role member equal message dot guild dot member message.mentions.users.first and then or message.guild.members.get arg0. We've done this a thousand times. If you haven't watched previous episodes, you should definitely do that. Um, this is kind of just muscle memory by now. If our member does not exist, return message dot reply couldn't find that user yo all right so now that that is done we can go ahead and get the role so let role equal args dot join and we're going to join them with spaces and then we're going to slice the id from the top or from the beginning and the id is always going to be 22 characters so if role if there's no role, mess or sorry, return message dot reply. Specify a rule. 
and now we're gonna go ahead and do let g roll just for guild roll equal message dot guild dot rolls dot find and then here we're gonna do we'll just pass it with a name sorry I messed that up find name then roll so now if g roll doesn't exist oops we'll just return message dot reply couldn't find that roll all right so now we actually need to apply the roll but first we need to double check and make sure if the uh, r member rolls dot or dot world dot rolls dot has g roll dot id and if not we'll go ahead and await and our member dot add roll g roll dot id all right so now we're going to do something we haven't done before we're going to try and message them by dming them but if their DMs are locked, we're going to just publicly broadcast it. So try. And we'll go ahead and set up the catch while we're here. Catch E. And then let's go ahead and do our member dot send. Congrats. You have been given the role. And see I use backticks there so I can use an object in here. We'll go ahead and do G roll. Dot. I don't know if you need name or not, but so if that does not work, we'll go ahead and do message dot channel dot send, and then we'll just add we try to DM them, but their DMs are locked. Sorry, that's a little long, but let's go ahead and change a little bit of this. Congrats to we'll just do congrats to and we'll go ahead and make sure it tags them. And we'll say our member dot ID. They have been given the role. And then yeah, so now that that is done, we can go ahead and test it out. To so run the server. What's it saying here? Unexpected identifier. Oh. Yeah, there we go. I forgot to put a curly bracket there. Let's just go ahead and close that down. And retry that. Uh oh, what do we got going on now? What are we doing wrong? Oh, because we need to add another curly bracket at the end. So I'm going to go ahead and indent this in. Sorry about the errors, guys. All right, so everything loaded up. Let's go ahead and try to give them the role. Add role at Andrew Boy dog person. And keep in mind, this is case sensitive. Oh. Yep. So as you can see there, cannot send messages to this user. Um, the reason why we want to try and catch, but we need to do a wait as well. So we need to give it a second. So let's go ahead and restart the server. And we'll just remove the role real quick. And we'll try that again. Add role at Andrew boy dog person. All right. So now that we see that works, let's go ahead and make sure that we can do remove roll. We don't want him to be a dog forever. So I'm just going to copy and paste all this. Put it right here. And basically all we need to do is change this. So if our member dot rules that has, we need to make it so if they don't have it, and we actually forgot to turn that, return that. So return message dot reply. They 
don't have that roll. So we forgot to do it here. So return message dot reply. And keep in mind this is checking if they have the roll. So they already have that roll. So let's go back to remove roll and change a couple different things. So we need to change this to remove roll, of course, instead of add roll. And we can change congrats to rip and then rip. They have been, er, we removed from them. You lost the roll. All right. Let me double check and make sure everything's good. All right. So let's go ahead and restart the server. Hopefully no errors. Crossing our fingers. Everything works. All right. So let's go ahead and remove that roll. Hopefully he hasn't opened up his DMs already. All right. So they he didn't. It removed the roll and it publicly shamed him. And yeah, that's all I have for today, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions or comments, leave that down in the description below. If you have any serious questions about coding or need help with your code at all, just go ahead and join our Discord. That link's in the description as always. And I will see you guys next time. Peace.